Let's now take a look at batch transaction processing, which is the bulk processing of data at a specific time. So basically, with batch processing, data is accumulated over a specific period of time, and it's all entered into a transaction file. Now, each time a new transaction takes place, it goes into this file. At a specific increment of time, whether it be daily, weekly, fortnightly, monthly, yearly, all this data in the transaction file will be processed, and it is all processed in an automated system okay, that applies the same process to each individual record. Now, the scheduling of the process will ultimately determine uh, based on how much data is accumulated each day within an organisation. Um, this has the advantage of the fact that it takes workload off staff doing the same repetitive process to data and instead the system does it all on its own. Now systems that use this include check clearance systems, uh, generating of bills and credit card transactions. Okay, Because they are all basically the same type of process but being done for multiple use, uh, customers. Okay, Maybe in the thousands, even millions. Okay. So let's graphically take a look at how this takes place. So firstly, the transactions are collected and organised into batches. So as we can see there, we've got transaction one, transaction two, transaction three, and transaction four. They are then all entered into the actual transaction file. Okay, and so all the data within this period, all the transactions that take place, go into this transaction file. This transaction file is saved and stored somewhere on the network. Okay, it can be saved either online, it can be saved on in, whether it's in a database or in a cloud, some sort of storage if it's a wide corporation. Okay, when the specific date comes for the actual batch processing to take place, it then occurs and it gets updated into a master file. So now all these transactions that have taken place over the last week, they all get processed and then the master file gets updated that it has now occurred and everything's up to date. Okay, so looking at batch transaction processing, the advantages are there's reduced uh, costs because there is pretty much no participants involved. There may be someone managing the actual process, but it pretty much is the actual system taking care of itself. There's standardization because it is an automated process and the same exact process is taking place with each actual transaction. And yes, decrease workload on participants because it would be a very repetitive task to do these transactions over and over and over again for a specific participant. The disadvantages though is there is a delay in that once this transaction takes place, it may be a week until the actual transaction is recorded, okay, because we do it at a specific time. Only the same type of data can be processed, okay, the automated process is doing the exact same thing to each record, okay, there is no differentiation between the records. So only the exact same type of process can take place for each record. And if there are errors, you have to wait till the end of the batch process. And this can be after a few hours because so much data is being processed at a time. Okay, so I hope you understand that batch processing is an efficient way of processing large amounts of data, reducing tedium on participants. Okay, um, it is efficient in that basically employees do not have to do the same thing over and over. It is the system that the workload is placed on. But it takes time for the processing to get done and recorded because we have to wait till that specific date.